Hello everyone, my name is Ellen Quintrett. Welcome to my channel. Today we're going to work on um, quick vintage strawberries. I had another tutorial that was fantastic, ready to go for you today, except that the technical nonsense that I'm dealing with will not let me upload it, so probably this weekend. So let me just start by doing a quick little drawing. Going real close. Basically a crown, and strawberries like this. I'm gonna go like this. Strawberries are just like little triangles and then an oval shape with a little point in the end. And then for the leaves, they'll be here, but they should have jagged edges. I don't want to spend too much time on this because I don't have much time to, I have to, a lot of time to do the video. So I sketched it out on here real quick. I have my paints over here. Um, I'm going to be using reds, greens. I'm using medium red here. I'm just going to wash in the strawberry like so. Simple. You could use masking um, fluid for the um, white dots. I'm going to probably use a gouache here instead. Just make things faster and easier for me. So I'm just filling in the strawberries that I have drawn out here with a wash of red first. I'll probably be adding some crimson for highlights on the side. Whoops, it's a little too wet, so I want to just take some of this up. And grab some of this crimson on the edge. And put some over here. Just darken this up a bit, it's a little too late. Should be a little bit darker. There we go. I'm using a Grumbacker number 10 brush. You can use whatever brush that makes you feel good. Comfortable control. I'm grabbing like a medium green. I'm gonna add a little burnt umber with this. I'm just gonna grab the stem go like this all the way down. It's a fairly light color. I'll go in and add darker colors as we go along. Again, here. I'm just using the tip of this brush. That. Now I have the leaf behind the strawberry, so I have to be careful and wait till that's completely dry to start painting in that leaf. In the meantime, I can paint some leaves up here. Remember, strawberries have those little jagged edges, so you want to just take your brush and go like that. Let me zoom in and show you. You're just going to take in the tip and pulling it out. See that? I'm just pulling out the little jagged edges. And I can go in and mix in some darker color. Just dab it in on the edge there. Let that bleed into it. Moving it around a little more so it bleeds more. Again, I'm going to put the darker color down in here, in here, down in here. I'll add some leaves over here. Two, like three little leaves. And I'll do the same thing with the jagged edge. You can just move your paper around, that helps you. Pull the little edges out, the tip of your brush. Same thing here. Do the same thing on this one. Just taking that brush and pulling it out. Get those little jagged edges and you go in and add in, wash in some of that darker color. I like to start in the middle, let it bleed out. This one has a little dark edge. I can move it around with my brush. And I'm gonna go ahead and the little crown parts to the strawberry pointy parts. Call it a, I call it a crown, you know, you call it whatever you want. You can make this a little more concentrated. 
less water because it's still wet here. It's kind of bleeding in a little bit. And then fill in some color over here where you're touching. Now it's still wet, but I'm going to try and go in and do the leaf behind the strawberry. And how you can do that with, while it's wet, you just, well, this one would be easy. You fill in that shape. Again, you do those little edges, pull out. It's just easy to go like this. Fill that in. And just push out the edge. And behind the strawberry, just leave a teeny white halo so it won't bleed into it. When it's dry, you can feel it more, you know, back more in. This leaves should be much darker because strawberry leaves are pretty dark. But I'm just putting in a light green for now. Excuse the phone. this. Now we're going to add this darker green. See normally when I do my videos I have to edit out all the phones but now I'm doing a video where I can't edit out because I'm not going to be able to upload. Unfortunately I had a great edit video. This is the problem with technology. It's great and it's horrible. <laughs> so this video is going to be a true video I'm just going to upload as is so excuse any of the phones I will just hang up so now I'm making this darker I'm adding a little burnt umber getting more darker hookers green in here filling that underneath and over here like so I'm gonna leave a green line in the middle if I can if it won't let me do it because it's bled into it I can take it out with my brush. We've shown you how you mop up the color with the brush many times. So I'll keep doing that. I'll add a touch of indigo just to get it even darker. We'll let that dry a bit. I'm going to go back in and work on our strawberries. Now I'm going to add some crimson to that red. I want it a little deeper. I add some crimson with a touch of indigo just to get that darker red for the strawberry. Just putting it on the edge here. As you see. And I'm going to blend that in with the medium red. But right now I'm just putting in this darker color right on the edge. I'll clean off my brush. I'll go grab this medium red. See the medium red? Medium red. I'll dab it onto the towel. And I'll go in and I'll hit. Oops. Hit the two of them. There you go. I'm adding some more crimson. I just feel like it's not dark enough. This is even more concentrated. I just feel like it wasn't dark enough. So we'll get this a little more darker. I have a um, botanical strawberry print in my Etsy shop. You can see that. 
I did a bunch of fruit botanicals. Okay, this is still drying. You can see that. I'm still going to go back in and add even a darker color of the screen right under that strawberry. Not too wet. The wetter it is, the more it bleeds out. And then again on this side here, I'm leaving that, trying to leave that middle light. If it's still too wet, I'm going to take a, this brush, which is my ground back number two, get some water on it, dab it off, and see how I'm just going to pull it up? Just pulling up that color. I pull it up and then wipe it on paper towel. So you're getting that line. Okay, you have to wash up the brush. Go in and lift it. Same thing here. Lift it. While some of that green is dry over here, you can put in the line in the middle of here. And the threads. Oops. And I realized this one was missing its crown. Need that crown. Just filling this in. There's a piece of my brush broke off. There we go. Put some darker back here where it's the shadow. Now I'm gonna clean my brush. I'm gonna grab some white gouache. Somewhat loose, but not that loose. Or you could grab, um, if you have white acrylic paint, that would work too. I think it's still wet, but we can try and do it. I used to do those little dots, little dashed lines for the seeds. Fairly simple. You can go back behind it with a black or a pan's gray. Excuse me, I'm cleaning off my brush. Nothing is cooperating today. It's very frustrating. And just hit the outer edge like a highlight each little white seed and that will stand out and that's two cons too wet so it's bleeding on this one but we're not very concentrated so it doesn't bleed like that one did but you can just go back and clean that up So it's a little bleedy mess here, but I'll just go in and clean it up. I'll take my brush, I'll clean it up, go in and wipe up the black that was not cooperating. And I can go in and add some crimson. And see that? I took that mistake and I fixed it. Very easy to do. And I guess I did that. I gave that a little shadow highlight. See that? This is still a little wet, but we're going to play with it anyway. Grab some green. Hooker's green, a little indigo. Does he want to play? Oh, okay. The lines like this. Again, lines, the veins of the leaf. It's cooperating somewhat. Hmm. This part should be a little darker. And then underneath the leaf should be a little darker. But there you go. This is a pretty quick 
pretty easy oops strawberry botanical for Wednesday I would have had you see my beautiful tulip one but that's coming probably this weekend so look for it uh, thank you so much for stopping by my channel thanks for all the comments I'm so grateful for all my community that's been coming to my YouTube channel and I hope you're enjoying all the tutorials and if you're so please like share and subscribe I know I say this all the time but it really helps my channel to grow and it makes me you know able to do more videos so thanks so much for stopping by have a great day